you know, the company that I started with my first, you could say tech job, I was actually hired to run their, uh, phone system, their PBX, which I didn't really know anything about. I had to learn that too. They just didn't have anybody else who knew it. So they figured they'd give me a try. I got into the IT side and working on the computer and the server and the network side just because I volunteered to help. The team that was there was either busy or didn't know how to do something. I'm like, I'll look it up. I'll figure out how to do it. And they're like, go ahead. If you can figure it out, you can do it. So, you know, your volunteering is a great way to do it. A lot of people will want the help or just be willing to, to show you things. And the other thing I was going to add is particularly on the Cisco side of data center. Cisco actually provides a lot of tools you can get either free or relatively inexpensively to practice all this. So you have uh, Cisco CML, which is the Cisco Modeling Labs, which can model like the Nexus 9K. You have the uh, ACI simulator that you can get. Now you need a decent server to run it on as we've discovered sort of recently. Um, so you do have to have some resources to be able to run it, but it can do a lot of things and get you, you know, if nothing else, familiar with the interface and, ha and how the different components fit together. And you can do that almost free just to get started.